This map is the periodic table. In many ways, the periodic table, like a map, can help us organize our knowledge of a diverse world, the diverse world of chemistry. How does a map organize information about an area? One way is to classify differences in the regions. For instance, a map might show by its colors and symbols that land is here and water is here, and a marshy area separates the two. This is a very broad organization of information. Information about the elements in the periodic table is broadly organized in a similar way, dividing the elements by their properties into regions of metals and metalloids and non-metals. A map can also organize information according to similarities within a given area. A contour map, for instance, can organize information about a land area on the basis of elevation, or about a water area on the basis of depth. The periodic table also organizes detailed information. The elements are arranged in order of atomic number, the number of protons in a nucleus. Each row across, or period, shows one kind of relationship. Each column down, or group, shows another. The detailed relationships that the periodic table shows have made it probably the most important organizing instrument of chemistry.